Chapter 2 of the FAST tutorial is setting up your analysis. This chapter will guide you through the process of setting up a study folder for performing consequence calculations. The tutorial supplies all the input values that you will need to complete the analysis. The first thing we need to do is create a new study folder. To create a new study folder, select New from the File menu. The program will close the fast example study folder and the new study folder will open with a name showing new study. You cannot save the study folder with the name untitled and should save it with the real name immediately. Select save as from the options. The file save logo will appear and you should locate the DMV user folder. Use the create new folder option. Create a folder with your name. And then in this folder, save your new file as tutorial. New study folder files are not empty but will have some default data set up. They will have a global weather folder containing three weathers. The weathers are the same as those for the fast example study folder. They'll have a set of default parameters, which are also the same as the fast example study. And they are a set of global parameters, all of which are using the default values. The tutorial uses a map of an area near two rivers in a country which has a national grid system. The image for this map is supplied with the program. Go to the Maps tab and to insert a raster image, click on the raster image set and go insert raster image. Then browse through the files, go to System C, Program Files, DMVS, fast build that you're using, examples, maps, and you want the tutorial.tif file. And press OK on the dialog. When you have selected a valid raster image, the placement mode fields will become enabled. There is an option for specifying the map coordinates covered by the image. Some files contain georeference data or header data that you can use to set up the coordinate data for the image, but the tutorial.tif file does not, and the only option available is interactive option, which is available for any raster image. Click on OK on this place dialog results in a dialog called the coordinate system wizard to open. This is the first step in selecting a coordinate system for the analysis. Is it only essential to select a system if the placement mode is set to geo-referenced or to buy a header, or if you want to use GIS database in the analysis? When you are using the interactive placement mode and not be connecting to a GIS database, which is the situation in this tutorial, then you will click on default. The wizard dialog will then close and you'll you'll have a brief pause and then a map window will open to the right of the study sheet pane. The cursor will now be in the form of a crosshair. And you must drag out the corners and drop to place the image in the window. This sets the initial value for the map coordinate for the image, which you will then set to the correct value in the next step. So to set up the coordinate and size of the image, double click on the tutorial icon, go to the geometry tab, and input the data as follows. Set the east coordinate to 196855, the north coordinate to 436053, the width to 4489, and the height or length to 3570. And then OK the dialog. When you click on OK, the image will probably disappear from the map window because it has moved to a location beyond the scope of the window. Select Fit All from the map menu. And 
map window will change to display the image covered by the image. If the menu bar does not include a map option, click on the map window to make sure it is selected and the map menu will appear in the menu bar. The coordinate values for the image will be in the national coordinate system for the country and the values for the area covered by the map are six digit numbers. By default, input dialog displays only four significant figures for any number that you are editing and with this setting you will find it difficult to be sure that you have entered the coordinates. To change the setting for number significant figures, select preferences general from the options menu. Move to the miscellaneous tab and change the number of significant figures from 4 to 6 and OK the dialogue.